This time I want to say a few things about how uh, the numbers work in Somali. Here is a list of the basic cardinal numbers in Somali. Uh, zero, Eber, one, Ko, two, Lava, or Lava, uh, three, Sade, four, Afar, five, Shan, six, Lih, seven, Sodopo, or Sodoba, eight, Sidet, nine, Sagal, ten, Tuban, twenty, Labatan, hundred, Pokol, two hundred, Labawakol. And uh, combinations of tens and ones are most often uh, expressed in Somali so that the ones go before the tens, like in German, for example. So it's the opposite order between ones and tens compared to English. Uh, this is especially true in written Somali, that this order is more frequent. Uh, but in, in spoken Somali, uh, it might be more 50 50. Uh, and even in written Somali, there seems to be a slow tendency nowadays towards uh, also writing the tense before the ones uh, more often than in, in um, older times in the past. Uh, so, the traditional standard established in the 70s and 80s was to put the ones before the tens. But since there is such a large part of the population that in spoken Somali put the tens first, this also, of course, affects the written language of today. Uh, so, 25 can be both shan and labatan. Or Lubatan, Yoshan. And when it comes to the numbers between 11 and 19, many languages have special words for that. But in Somali, it's, it's easy because also the numbers from 11 to 19 are just made up of combinations of the word for the uh, last digit and the word for 10. And here, there is uh, a larger uh, tendency to actually have the, one, uh, the ones before the tens. Uh, so up to 19, uh, this is predominating, even in, in the south, where otherwise the tens often come first. And these figures that you can see are from the biggest uh, corpus, the habit corpus, uh, and of course it reflects written language. So um, the figures are somewhat more even, of course, in spoken uh, Somali. Uh, then the major point of this presentation is that after numbers, the following nouns are not used in the plural form as in English. So, in Somali, masculine nouns are used in the singular form. And if we take an example, the word mass, snake, has a plural form, snakes, that is masas. Um, but this plural form is not used after numbers. So, two snakes would be lava, mass with uh, the singular form of the word for snake. Another example, akal, uh, has the plural form, akalwa, but after numerals, uh, the singular form is used. So we have sade akal. And if we look at feminine nouns, some feminine nouns also stay in the singular form after numbers. And that uh, is true for all feminine nouns that end in O. 
they use the singular form also after numbers. So we have Claudia, mother, with a plural form, Claudia. But five mothers will be Shan Claudia, with a singular form after the number. It's only the rest of the family nouns, that is, all the family nouns that do not end in O, that have a special form, not the plural form, but a special form after numbers. And this special form ends in O. So if we have the word shoe, cup, the plural form, shoes, is kawa, but after numbers, uh, there is this special form. So two shoes would be waba kabo uh, with the ending old. So uh, there is a special form that we would call the counting form of nouns. But the counting form is the same as the singular for most nouns. So it's only part of the feminine nouns that have a special counting form that ends in old. So uh, the counting form, the special counting form, only exists for feminine nouns that do not end in o in the singular, but actually end in o in the plural. So these feminine nouns, they do not have o as an ending in the singular, but they have o in the plural. And then they have this special counting form ending in old. So it's only this restricted group of nouns, of feminine nouns, that take the counting form. And this counting form is only used for this special purpose. It's used only after numbers. <coughs> uh, and then finally, another question that is theoretically interesting. On numerals of word class in Somali? Well, in most English grammars, there is a special word class, numerals. That's the traditional way of presenting English grammar. And also, most other, uh, the grammar of, grammars of most other European languages. And um, they function in a somewhat special way. They function as uh, determiners of nouns, preceding the nouns, uh, and they are dependent on the nouns in, in um, most European languages, uh, so that the noun is a head word, and we add this numeral to the noun. But, yeah, so, um, uh, in English, for example, we may have different kinds of, of uh, words preceding a noun. We, we may have determiners and modifiers, adjectives, pronouns, or pronoun singular words. Depends on how uh, the uh, description in, in question is, is uh, systematized. And, and, and numerals. Uh, but in Somali, these things work differently. So, um, in Somali, these cardinal numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, they are actually uh, functioning as nouns. And in order to show that, um, we compare an uh, ordinary noun, like car, with a numeral. And we start with this word, uh, which uh, I hope everybody can agree uh, that it is a noun. Uh, and uh, one of the ways to define a noun is that a noun takes the definite article and other kinds of endings in Somali. So we have the definite form, and we have uh, this possessive form, 
there is really no need for the word class numerals in Somali grammar, as we will treat all the numbers uh, in the word class for nouns or in the word class for adjectives. Um, yeah. uh, of course, there is quite a bit more to say about different phrases. 